Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So we'll see uh, one more concept in uh, discrete mathematics that is a logical equivalence. Logical equivalence. So in our previous session, we have seen what is a proposition, a simple proposition and a compound propositions and uh, uh, how can we find out the truth table for any kind of compound propositions and after that we have seen the tautology what is a tautology and what is a contradiction and what is a contingency now this concept is a logical equivalence how can we say one compound proposition is equal to another compound proposition so here you can observe four examples so in our in this session we are going to solve these four examples so here logical equivalence it is denoted as triple lines it is denoted as triple lines so this is the logical equivalence okay that means logically equal so how we can say coming to the first example if you take this one p or q and you can observe this symbol three lines that means p or q is logically equivalent to and negation sorry negation of negation p and negation q so we are saying p or q is almost similar or equivalent to this particular compound proposition so this equation that means this uh, logical equivalence can be find out by using two ways so in two ways we can find the logical equivalent uh, of both the compound propositions. So first one, using truth tables, using truth tables. And the second one, using laws. There will be few laws. So by using those laws also, we can find out the logical equivalent compound proposition. So first in this session, we'll see this one by using the truth tables because already we know how to find out or how to construct the truth table for any kind of compound proposition right so today's session will cover about by using truth tables now so if we want to say that this is a logically equivalent to this one or this compound proposition is logically equal to, equivalent to this proposition. So we need to find out the truth table for both the compound propositions. And we have to show that the last column of both the truth tables are same. So then we can say these two compound propositions are logically equivalent. So let us do that. So P, Q. So first we need to construct the truth table. So how many combinations we need to get so in our previous session we have seen the number of propositions involved in the compound proposition so two power that many propositions is the combination so how many propositions here only two propositions because p q only two propositions so the number of combinations will be two power two so two power two means either true 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 false false true false false so these are the four combinations right now we need to find out the next one p or q p or q so we know that r connective r connective r connective means if any one of the propositional result is true the result will be true so true true it will be true true false again true false true again true false false it will be false and now we need to find out this one so we need to find out the negation p and negation Q, right? So what is a negation P? Negation P, negation P, so it is a false, false, true, true. Negation Q, false, true, false, true. So negation P, negation Q. So now we need to perform the end operation. So negation P and negation Q. So we know that if any one of the propositional result is false, the result will be false. So false, false, it will be false. False, true, again it is a false. True, false, again it is a false. True, true, it is only true. 
and now you have to apply the negation for this one right so negation of negation p and negation q so which is a negation for all these results which will be true 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 and false and you can observe these two columns are equal so first three combinations are true and the last combination is false and here also first three combinations are true and the last combination is false so that implies p or q is logically equivalent to negation of negation p and negation q so this is where we can find out whether that compound proposition is logically equivalent to this propo compound proposition right so we'll move on with the next one p implies q logically equivalent to negation p or q so here also so this is completed now we'll move on with the next one which is p negation implies q logically equivalent to negation p or q so here also we are having only two propositions so the number of combinations will be 2 power 2 so this is a common thing right p q and now we need to find out the truth table for these two compound propositions so first i write it p implies a q so p implies q we know that if p is true and q is false then only the result will be false and in all the remaining cases it will be true so true true it will be true true false it will be false and false true it is true false false it is true so only in this case it will be true now let us move on with the negation p so what is the negation p false false true true negation p or q or or means if any one of the result if any one of the propositional result is true then obviously it will be true so negation p or q false true it is true false true it is true okay and true false again it is true true false again it is true false false sorry here it is a false false it is a false right so false and true so we need to go with these two right negation p or q false true true false false it's false true false it true true it is true true false it's true so you can observe now this column and this column both are same so only for the second combinations we are getting the false and all the rest of the combinations we are getting a true so that implies p implies q is equivalent logically equivalent to negation p or q so wherever we are using this p or q, p implies q we can replace this one with this particular logical character right or character with the or character formula right we are will we move on with the third one right so p implies p implies q implies p logically equivalent to negation p implies p implies q now let us check with this one how many propositions are there only two propositions are there so p and q in complete uh, both the compound propositions only two propositions p and q so the combinations will be only four so these are the combinations now what we have to do we have to apply q implies p q implies p so in this way we have to focus right if q is true and p is false then it will be false in all the other cases it will be true so true implies true true false implies true yes true true implies false it is false if q is true p is false right false and false it will be true now again p implies q implies p now what we have to do so p implies this one so t and t which is true t and t it is true false and false again it is true false and true it again false true right so this will be false only if p is true and q is false so this is we got now we will apply this one right so we will go with the negation p so what is the negation p it's a false false true and true 
And uh, now we'll apply P implies Q. P implies Q. True. True false. It is a false. False true. It is true. False false. It is a true. Now you can apply negation P implies P implies Q. So in this way. False and true. True. False and false. True. True and true. True. True and true. True. And you can observe these two things. So we are comparing only these two compound propositions. Right? Here you can observe in both the cases, in all the cases we are getting the same result. So true. This is also we are getting a true. That means this is also yes. So this can be written in this form. Okay. And the last one, we will focus on the last one. Let us do that. So, P implies Q. <coughs> Excuse me. P implies Q implies R logically equivalent to P implies Q implies R. So how many propositions are there here? So we are having a three propositions. So combinations will be eight combinations, right? So in order to represent that eight combinations, we can use a binary equivalent from seven to zero. So let us take here, I'll write P, Q, R. Okay, let us write here itself. P, Q, and R. So first one, true, true, true. So here you can write it as 4, 2, 1 and this will be 7. Next is 6. True, true, false. Next 5. True, false, true. Next. So 7, 6, 5, 4. True, false, false. 3. False, true, true. 2. False, true, false. 1. False, false, true, 0. False, false, false. So these are all the 8 combinations. So simply you can write the numbers, binary numbers from 7 to 0. Okay. In order to write all the combinations. Simple. Now let us calculate these things. P implies Q. P implies Q. So we know that if P is true and Q is false, then only it will be false. So true and true, it is true. True and true, it is true. True and false, it is false. True and false, it is false. False and true, it is true. False, true, true. False, false, true. False, false, true. Now, we have to write it P implies Q implies R. So in this way, in this way, right? So true, true and true. It will be true, true and false, this false, false and true, it is true, false and false, it is false, true, true, it is true, true, false, it is false, true, true, it is true, true, false, it is false. So this we got it. Now we have to apply this one, right? So next, next, Q implies R. Q implies R. So Q implies R means these two. True and true, it is true. True false, it is false, false true, it is true, false false, it is true, true true, it is true, true false, it is false, false true, it is again true, false false, it is true. Now, the next one, P implies, Q implies R. So what we have to do? P implies, Q implies R, this one. True false, sorry, true true, it is true. True false, it is false. Next, true, true, it is true. True false, so, sorry, this one, no, see, yes. True, true, true false, true, true, and again, true, true, again, it is true. Next, false, true, again, it is true. False, false, again it is false. False, true, again it is true. False, true, again it is true. 
So let us check this one. P or Q or implies R. True, 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 false, false, true, and here it is C. False and false again it is true. Yes. Now you can observe. Uh, yes, here also you can have to observe it. So true and false, it is false, and here also true and false. So the false and true, it is a true. So P, true and false, employs false, it's a false, right? Yeah. And P or Q, true, true. And uh, P implies Q, no? So it is a false and false, it will be a true, right? Yes. So true A implies false. False, right? P implies, yes. False and true, it is again true. True, false, right? True, 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 false, true, true. PQ, true, true, false, false. It is again true, yes. And a QR, okay. So Q implies R, Q implies R, TT, true, false, true, false. False true, false false, yes true true, and P implies Q and R, so P implies Q and R true true, true true false it is a false true true it is a true, true true it is again true false true, it is again true false false. P implies yes, false and false it is true. False true, true, false true, true. So this is this we got it here, but here we are going getting this one. You can observe these two are completely different. These two are completely different, right? So what it means? So this is not logically equivalent to this one. So this fails. Here this fails. Okay. So if the the result of all combinations for both the compound propositions are equal, then only we can say it as a logically equivalent. And this procedure we have seen with the help of a truth table. With the help of only the truth table. So, in our next session, we will see the different types of laws and then we will go with the second approach by using the, those laws. How can we find out the logical equivalence? Right? So, hope you understood this one. Practice uh, more uh, propositions and uh, try to understand the concept. And uh, I'll stop here. And if you are having any doubts or if you feel any difficulty regarding uh, constructing the truth tables, you just uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I'll try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.